Hello guys, this is Mystery Truth. Life on Mars Breakthrough. NASA's latest discovery could prove that ancient microbial life has been in existence on Mars. NASA scientists are one step closer to finding evidence of alien life on Mars after collecting high-value rock samples from an ancient Martian lake bed. NASA confirmed last Friday the Mars rover Perseverance has successfully collected and stored its second rock sample less than seven months after landing on the red planet. The two rock samples dubbed Mount Denia and Montagnac were collected from a region of Mars believed to have once been volcanically active and filled with water. If alien life ever developed on Mars, scientists are convinced this would have been the perfect conditions for microbes to thrive. Ken Fali of the California Institute of Technology, Caltech, and project scientists at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory said, it looks like our first rocks reveal a potentially habitable, sustained environment. It is a big deal that the water was there for a long time. The two rocks may have been the products of lava flows and contain a number of promising minerals that could shed more light on Mars' ancient climate. Scientists believe the bone-dry planet once resembled a young Earth with a hot and humid atmosphere and bodies of water on the surface. NASA's Perseverance is presently exploring the 28-mile-wild Jezero crater, which was filled with water more than 3 billion years ago. However, scientists are uncertain just how long the water stayed in the crater and whether it was long enough for life to develop. An analysis of the volcanic minerals stored in the collected samples will help paint a better picture of the conditions in the Jezero crater, crater billions of years ago. Scientists are also hopeful salt minerals found inside of the rocks may have trapped bubbles of ancient Martian water. NASA geologist Katie Stark Morgan told the press conference, if these rocks experienced water for long periods of time, there may be habitable niches within these rocks that could have supported ancient microbial life. She added, salts are great minerals for preserving signs of ancient life here on Earth and we expect the same may be true for rocks on Mars. The rover collected its first sample on September 6th after a previous attempt failed. The second rock was drilled out of a rock formation dubbed Rochette on September 8th. Mitch Shorts of NASA headquarters, the missions program scientist said, these samples have high value for future laboratory analysis back on Earth. One day, we may be able to work out the sequence and timing of the environmental conditions that these rocks' minerals represent. This will help answer the big picture science question of the history and stability of liquid water on Mars. NASA's rover will prepare the samples for a planned retrieval mission in the future. If all goes according to plan, NASA will launch a second rover to Mars to retrieve the samples and launch them back to Earth. The mission will be carried out in partnership with the European Space Agency, ESA, in the 2030s. Perseverance's next likely target is a sample site known as South Seita. South Seita is a formation of ridges ridges covered by sand dunes, rock shards, and boulders 
about 656 feet from where the river is now. That site is likely older than Richete and we provide new insights into life at the crater flow. However, the rover will not drill into the site until sometime after October. At the start of next month, NASA's Mars missions are standing down for several weeks during the Mars solar conjunction. At the time of the conjunction, the red planet will be hidden from sight behind the sun. The hot plasma streaming from the sun will interfere with all attempts to communicate with spacecrafts. These conjunctions happen once every two years. So at that period, there will be nothing, no form of communication. So guys, if you have anything to say, drop your comments in the comment section. And please don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Thank you very much.